Joey here from 9 to 5 Escape. Today we're working on the 2005 Toyota 4Runner, the fourth gen. I uh, absolutely despise chrome, so we're going to be plastic dipping the grill with a matte black, and the emblems are going to be a matte red, especially the V8 to make it stand out. So, I'm uh, actually going to remove the grill, take it off so it's easier to spray and paint. With that in mind, let's get into it. Here's what you're going to need to do the job. Uh, obviously, a Plasti Dip, whatever color of your choice. Um, you're going to need to clean the area first. I usually use a uh, quick detail from Meguiar's and a microfiber cloth. Painter's tape, frog tape is the best in my opinion, but you can use the cheap blue stuff. It works too. This is optional, but it's a little nozzle, a little handle that you can hold to spray. Pretty uh, nifty to put it on top of the can. Uh, to get the grill off, you need a 10 millimeter ratchet and socket. Um, and then finally, some toothpicks for picking out the little inner holes and crevices of the emblems. Oh, and uh, obviously some you know, your circular or some uh, cardboard to spray paint on and not get everything else all painted. First thing you wanna do is clean the hell out of it. Spray it down, wipe it down, give it some elbow grease. Get the dead bugs off of there. There's actually some like overspray or some paint on here that I can't really get off, so do the best I can. Maybe they're dead bees, I don't know. Save the bees. Plasti is pretty cool because you don't have to like etch or mar what you're spraying on. It sticks pretty well. And uh, worst case, if you don't like it, you can peel it off. So take the grill off. There are eight of these acorn nuts all around the perimeter. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter. Take them off. Don't drop them in your engine bay, that would suck. They're actually really loose. I think it's just plastic, so you definitely don't want to over tighten them when you put them back on. I'm gonna leave the last one in for now. Um, so the little mounting bracket for the release, I think there's a bunch of ways to take it off. There's one back here, there's two over here. You can slide the rod off. I'm gonna take the two off in the front. It's another two 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, I left one of the acorn nuts on just so it doesn't fall off while I'm trying to take this off. Or it may just follow me, we'll see. There it is, so it just swings down out of your way. And the last one, oh wait, they're all out, I lied. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna be taking the emblems off to make it easier to paint. Uh, I actually gave up on trying to tape it. Probably just easier to spray the whole thing. Um, taping's gonna take too long. It's pretty hot out, I'm sweating. So these uh, emblems, they have little tabs on them. Just be careful. It's pretty old and brittle plastic. If you've got an 05 like me, you might break the tabs off. Just give them a little push and pull it from the backside. It should come right out. And if you have a V8, you can take the one on the V8 off. Kind of the same thing, just push the plastic tabs in. Maybe. There's four of them, so you gotta push them all at the same time. There you go. Yeah, plastic pieces just breaking off. I don't know what they're for, but hopefully I don't need them. So uh, I'm gonna give everything one last wipe down. It feels a little dusty and dirty still, so I'll start spraying after that. And uh, just spray it off first. Make sure you get it all primed and ready. And just do nice even strokes. First coat's gonna be really light. 
So just pop your emblem back in after you got all your coats on. I ended up doing um, seven coats in total. All right, bottom one first, then the top. Looks pretty good. So just peel off the areas that you don't want. Um, obviously inside the eight, inside the V and around that. I just want the V and the eight and the top. Don't need that either, so just peel it off. So after you're all done dipping, put it back on. The bolts should just line up right in the holes. Tighten up a little bit with the ratchet. Don't go too crazy. Otherwise you're gonna break the plastic. Match goes behind it, and then you put the bolts in. Don't put it in front, it won't work. Moment of truth. I think it looks pretty good. Coats went on pretty well. I uh, ended up doing seven coats. Again, I just went and opted to plastic dip the entire thing. I think it looks a lot better. Um, you know, against my terrible black paint job. Uh, the Toyota emblem is pretty easy, but the V8 was a little tough to peel off the uh, in-betweeners, I'll call them. Had to use some tweezers and uh, some toothpicks to, to pry it out and pull it off. Again, big thanks to Chris, he helped out a lot. Check out his bumper plastic video on his fifth gen, it actually turned out pretty cool. If you guys found this video helpful, help us out by hitting that like button and the subscribe button. If you had any other questions or we didn't cover something, leave a comment down below. We're pretty good at answering those. If you want to check us out on our website, 9to5escape.org, or our Instagram handle, 9to5escape as well. Catch you guys next time. Okay. <laughs>